guys it's yaya and welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to be back i miss you guys so much i have been in my a working on the pre-sale for the lemon face and body butter all 50 orders have been shipped and we are now opening up a second round for all of the requests and people who want the additional uh 50 so we will be doing that so check the link and also keep up with my instagram so you can keep up with that as well um down in the description box below but for now let's jump right into this video i'm super excited to do this i got inspiration from uh youtubers like brie and um casey who did an herbal hair infused butter i am very familiar with infusing oils this is also how i make my shebe infused oil and butter um but this time we're going to be using a herbal hair oil mix kind of similar to what they did it has over 15 amazing ayurvedic um herbs that are just outstanding some of them i'm familiar with some of them i've never heard of before so to name a few that you might know there's licorice root hibiscus flower some curry leaves rose petals we also have some fenugreek seeds, some amala, also some nim, henna seeds, and white turmeric, uh, just to name a few, and then a whole bunch more. So the instructions are very simple. You're just going to soak this herbal blend in eight ounces of any oil of your choice. I'm using castor oil and avocado oil. These are two of my favorite oils to use in any kind of hair um, conditioning or uh, sealant type butter or conditioner. Um, you guys have been asking me to get more familiar and do more videos with Ayurvedic herbs, so I will definitely try to do that. This can also be the first step to making that Ayurvedic um, deep conditioner that you guys have been asking me about, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pour the oils into the herbal blend. The instructions say that you should just cover this up and let it sit for 48 hours to infuse. You're more than welcome to do that. I'm gonna speed up this process and apply heat. This is also how I make my Shebe infused oil. If you go back and watch that video, I apply direct heat in order to go ahead and infuse that and I will show you guys later on in the video that this actually does work. Now I'm not going to be putting these particular herbs um, in direct heat. I'm going to keep it in the heat resistant container and then I'm just going to create a double bowl effect like I usually do if I was melting my butters. Okay, So I'm going to put that on the stove for maybe a good hour or so just to simmer on low heat. Okay. So let's move on um, to the butters we're going to be using for this conditioning hair butter. Um, I'm using shea butter. Shea butter is one of the most familiar butters out there. Most people know about shea butter. It's super soft. It has amazing healing properties. Great for the skin, great for the hair, and it's a great, great sealant. And even though it seems heavy and a little bit more on the greasier side, um, shea butter actually does not clog the pores or clog the hair cuticles. It's very great butter to incorporate into your hair and skincare, okay? So next I'm adding mango butter. I had already added it and cut it up and everything and um, I don't know where the footage went. So I just, uh, just took it back out so you guys can see the difference between the shea butter and the mango butter. You can see that the mango butter is more of an ivory color and it's also considered a semi-hard butter whereas shea butter is more on the softer side for butters, okay? These two butters for me have always worked so well with each other. They just pair, pair so well to create a very beautiful texture not too hard not too soft and um, they just really complement each other very well especially if you consider shea butter to be a little heavy I definitely recommend mango butter to kind of balance it out so we're going to also create a double boil effect with this as well just a little water in the pot and then place your heat resistant container in there to gently melt down your butters on low heat it shouldn't take very long but we're just going to place it on the stove and then once it melts, we can add our conditioning agent of this hair butter. Our conditioning agent is going to be BTMS 50. You guys see me use this emulsifying agent all the time in uh, oil and water emulsions. This time there is no water. It's just going to be simply the melted butters oils and then the BTMS 50, which is going to give it amazing conditioning properties and amazing texture. Okay. I got this idea from Marie from Humble Bee and Me and also Tara Lee. They did conditioning body butters and I thought, what if I was able to incorporate the BTMS 50 to do a conditioning hair butter and see how the hair can benefit from this. So I'm super excited to see the results, which um, 
I already know the texture is gonna be outstanding. So go ahead and place this back in the pot so that we can melt down the BTMS 50, which is very stubborn and very hard to melt down, you guys. So definitely give it some time to melt down all the way, okay? All right, so while everything is melting down, we're gonna go ahead and strain our um, herbal infused oil, okay? I'm using a strainer as well as cheesecloth. You can do either one. I just wanna make sure there are no particles in my infused oil, okay? So um, this simmered on low heat for about an hour, you guys, and it smells, the smell of these herbs are just so strong, oh my gosh. But they are very, they're just very herbal. It's not a bad smell and it doesn't really transfer over to the oil. It's just why it's in the oil. In the herbal blend, you can definitely smell that strong assertive smell. Um, so anyway, we're gonna pour this through the strainer and um, just give it a quick little squeeze. I didn't really touch the bottom that much. It was still quite hot, okay? Um, just giving it enough of a squeeze to try to get as much of that beautiful oil out. You guys can see that it infused well, okay? Um, I'm gonna, gonna compare the difference between before it was infused and after, so you can see that there was some transfer of nutrients and, and those herbal benefits that is now infused into this oil, okay? From the light color to the dark color, you can definitely see it's very potent and beautiful, okay? So using the very low heat um, definitely works to infuse the oil. You do not have to wait 48 hours unless you just absolutely want to avoid heat at all costs, okay? Um, but there still will be some heat just because we had to melt down our butters and we also had to melt down our BTMS 50, which we're pouring into this container now. So basically, once you have melted down your BTMS 50, which resolidifies really quickly, you guys. Um, once you have melted down your BTMS 50 with your uh, butters and also have infused your oil, you want to combine them in a bowl of your choice and then just mix them in very well. You can see right here, it looks like it's already solidifying. That's just the BTMS 50, you guys. This is still piping hot, so be very careful. I'm just going to cover it with some aluminum foil and I'm going to place it in the freezer for maybe a good 30 minutes and then I took it out and I'm connecting it now to my stand mixer. You guys have seen me use the stand mixer before. It's absolutely my favorite mixer to use. Um, it definitely creates beautiful fluffy whipped butters, um, especially if you're making large batches like when I'm um, using it for my business. This has definitely, this was definitely the key for me to make you know, making my butters for my business more efficient. So I definitely recommend a stand mixer of this quality to definitely help you whip up large batches of whipped butter, okay? Um, so that's what I'm doing here now. I'm just gonna be whipping this butter up and occasionally I will take it out and I will place it back in our freezer uh, just to re-solidify a little bit more and then I will whip it up again. Um, this is just because with the BTMS 50, I found that the texture was just a little bit more silkier. Um, so it was harder to get that fluffiness that I was looking for in a, a, a whipped butter, okay? Um, but it definitely works once you kind of just play around with it a little bit, you're definitely gonna see it start to whip up and get extra, extra fluffy. Um, remember to scrape around the sides here and there just to make sure that everything is incorporated and whipped in very, very well. Um, but so far, so good, you guys. I am loving the results of this butter. So uh, another thing about this stand mixer is it's hands-free. So if I have to go work on some other parts of my business or other parts of orders um, without having to constantly sit here with my hands on the blender or mixer and whipping up a butter. So it, it just really is has helped me with my small business to just uh, save time and be able to multitask. It's, a, it's definitely a lifesaver, okay? So anyway, we're gonna move on and I'm gonna add my favorite essential oil, which is the white tea essential oil. I love this smell, it's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. So I measured out about 1% of the white tea essential oil and I'm gonna put this in now that the butter has cooled down. This is also a time you can add your vitamin E and any other heat sensitive ingredients like a preservative maybe. You guys ask me all the time, do I add preservatives to my whipped butter? And most of the time I do not, but you absolutely can. For me, I just prefer to keep it as pure as possible when it comes to my whipped butters. And um, it's fine for me to just use um, dry hands or either a wooden spoon to get my butter instead of uh, uh, adding a preservative. Just make sure you're avoiding putting any water or any wet hands into the jar because you will contaminate it and yes, it will grow mold. So as long as you can be very careful, um, you don't have to add a preservative to this whipped butter. 
all right it's all done you guys look at this beautiful beautiful texture look how beautiful this whipped butter is i've never oh my gosh it's just gorgeous i have never added btms 50 to uh whipped butter like this before and i'm obsessed i'm absolutely obsessed with it just beautiful this is not the final texture, you guys. It will still be fluffy and soft, but it will not be the silky. To really get this texture and keep this texture, you probably have to incorporate water as well as your uh, emulsifier and other ingredients to really keep that lotion-like uh, texture. I have a whipped body butter that did incorporate water and it was still on the fluffier whipped side more than it was lotiony. So in order to get that really lotion texture, you would have to add more and more water. And then at that point, it's not really a pure body butter, okay? So um, yeah, this will settle and be fluffy and light. Um, and that will be the final result of the texture, okay? But this is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I can definitely tell the difference in having BTMS 50 in this and not having BTMS 50 in this whip butter okay so the, there's definitely a difference in texture here okay it's still just absolutely beautiful and um, making conditioning hair butter I think I will look into this a lot more I look into this a whole lot more okay all right you guys so I'm gonna be placing this in two jars and as many as it make is as many as I'll be giving away you guys I have hit over 100k subscribers and I am just so grateful I've been planning this giveaway for so long and i just haven't had the time to really release it um i just wanted to make sure it was extremely special so i can really show you guys in a big way how much i appreciate you guys so i was like i'm just gonna make this big old huge thing of whipped butter and however many it makes is however many winners we're gonna have okay these are eight ounce jars. These are the jars I use for my Shea Bay butter and Shea Bay cream. Um, but sometimes during inspection, um, some of the jars may have scratches on them or not just, they just might not be perfect at pressing inspection. So um, when you get these jars for the winners, you might see a few little imperfections with the frosting or something like that, but the jars are safe. There's no uh, cracks or anything on them. It's, they just will be a little less than perfect, but um, I had some extra left over, so I decided to put them in these jars, you guys. So uh, yeah. I really hope you guys will really like trying out this conditioning hair butter and I really hope that you will like this as a giveaway there will be eight winners okay eight winners will get one eight ounce jar of the uh, herbal conditioning hair butter and the one grand prize winner will actually be winning a stand mixer so if you guys have noticed I've been really talking about my stand mixer and how it has helped my small business so much so I thought there was no better way than to give away a stand mixer however I can't give a stand mixer away to eight people I can only give it away to one person so please 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 um, check the description box down below for all the giveaway details and so you can try out this um, conditioning hair butter and then one winner will actually get a stand mixer so whether you're starting a small business thinking about starting a small business or just need a stand mixer um, definitely check the description box down below and enter it's, it's open for all and i just hope it's enough to really show you guys how much you mean to me nothing that i'm doing right now would be possible if it wasn't for you guys like you do not understand i don't think you guys realize how much you mean to me in everything that I do so yeah like I said check the description box below for your chance to win and learn how to enter one grand prize winner will win a stand mixer it may not be exactly like mine but it will be the same brand and then seven other winners will get the eight ounce herbal infused conditioning hair butter the grand prize winner will also get one of these butters okay so uh yeah definitely definitely check the description box below I hope this is uh an exciting giveaway i really do I, I i really wanted to make it big for you guys and i really hope that um this will be helpful i gave away a stand mixer before um but it was one of my old used ones and the person who won went on to start their own small business and that was just so inspiring to me it was such a beautiful thing so i definitely want to do something similar again so so yeah i just i hope that is helpful you guys so um the lemon body butter has definitely been taking up a lot of my time you guys but i'm still here i haven't forgot i'm coming back i will be doing more videos you guys but um uh it's, it's just been a lot going on lately okay i'm working on some big projects for you guys okay so make sure you check the description box below for the full list of ingredients follow me on instagram 
I will be announcing the winner there. It's just easier for me at this time. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. It is the only way you can keep up with the videos I'm coming out with and everything that I'm doing. I got a lot more coming for you guys, a lot more giveaways, a lot more DIYs, and I love you guys so much. And just stay tuned, okay? And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.